Let's move on to the next question. The function f is defined by this, for which x has to be more than 0. OK, good to know. Now part 1, we have to obtain an expression for f, in f prime of x, and hence, and hence explain why f is an increasing function. So one by one, let's first five, find f prime of x. It is simply differentiation of this one, that should be 3, 3x three plus 2, minus 1, that should be 2, then multiply by d by dx of the value inside, that should be 3. This will be 0. That will be 9, 3x plus 2, square. So you can explain, since this value here, since 3x plus 2 square has to be more than 0, we can confirm that 9 times will always be more than 0. Because of that, it is an increasing function. That makes sense. It is positive. That's the main idea behind behind this. Now part 2. Obtain an expression for f inverse of x and state the domain of f inverse. So step by step, let f of x be y. So y right now it is 3 plus 2 cube minus 5. Right? So we have y plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 2, that'll be 3. So 3x plus 2 had to be cubic root of y plus 5. Then 3y, 3x equal to minus 2, plus, so minus 2 plus cubic root of y plus 5. So finally, x have to be minus 2 plus cubic root of y plus 5 divided by 3. Now obviously we have to write this down in terms of x. So f inverse it is in terms of x. That will be minus 2 plus cubic root x plus 5 over the value of 3. Right. So now we have to also find the domain of f inverse. So let's see. So now we have to understand. Uh, we have to define the domain such that f inverse does exist. Now this one is a cubic curve as we can see right here. Usually cubic curve has uh, three, uh, so here it is more than zero as well. So domain was defined already as more than zero, which is a very good thing. Now, usually we, we find domain of f inverse as the range of f. Right, so how can we find this? Range of f is this, for the values of x equal to zero, right? What is that going to be? That is going to be 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2, that will be 2. 2 power 3 will be 8. 8 minus 5, that should be the value of 3. So as you can see, the graph, since the graph will always be going up, increasing function always be going up, the minimum point defined by the, the x value here is 3. So it means that the curve will look something like this from the value of, of 3, right? This is the y value, is 3. It keeps going up from that point on. Now, this is the range of f, which is y, is more or equal to 3. However, to define the domain, we have to write that in terms of x. x have to be more than 3. That will be your answer for part 2 of the question.